clear the decks for that magnificent match yesterday at Hillsborough. Eight goals as Sheffield Wednesday, near the foot of the table in the second division, took on Manchester United right at the top. The pictures come from Yorkshire Television. The commentator is Keith Macklin. Sheffield Wednesday are in the stripes. Morgan Stroud. Pushing going on, says Mr. Baker. Thompson. So, free kick to Manchester United, just outside the area. And there's an absolute logjam of players around that area. They're all in that area. Red shirts and blue and white shirts. The five-man wall, and almost five men in a position to take the kick. Houston try a goal! Houston directly from the kick, there was a hole in the wall. A well rehearsed move by Manchester United. The Wednesday wall, despite having five men in it, left a gap. And Houston found it. Pump down for Sunley, Buchan watching Sunley. Potts, Potts getting across well, and stepping bravely going down as Brown went in for that. Alex Stepney, a brave punch under pressure. Good corner, it's a goal! The United defence caught flat footed by David Sutley. Now, Thompson, the man behind the ball. Vernon Shaw is also there. A lot of blue and white shirts now moving up into the penalty area. Come on, says Mr. Baker, get on with it. Thompson right into the area. Good shot, go! Morning. Mr. Baker, I think has given it. Mr. Baker, it was inside the area. Now, what has Mr. Baker awarded? What on earth has the referee awarded? Because if that was handball, it was most certainly inside the area. Well, Mr. Baker is the man whose opinion counts. But I would stake my life on it that that was two feet inside the area. But Mr. Baker, let me stress, is the man whose opinion is valued. Big wall, six red shirts, one blue and white. Shaw shoots a goal! What a goal! My word, it, it didn't matter whether it was a penalty or not. Bernard Shaw's put it away with a blistering shot to make it 3 1, and what a game! So the argument about whether it was a penalty becomes purely academic. I think everyone that saw it clearly would say that it was, but it doesn't matter. Bernard Shaw from a free kick outside the area makes it 3-1. This match, every bit as exciting now as that famous 5-4 confrontation. 
and I think the Manchester United fans, some of them, are thinking of taking the action that we saw on the Newcastle United ground and at Old Trafford. I think the Manchester United fans are beginning to think they'll get this one postponed. The Sheffield police are going to have to do something about that. Some are on the pitch already. There they are, they're trying to do it again. This is going to require drastic action by the police and the referee because these Manchester United fans have got one thing in mind and I think that is bringing this game to a premature conclusion. McCallyog across, it's going to be forced in by McCoy. Spring it and the defence misjudged the cross. The simplest thing in the world for Macari to stroke the ball home. Morgan. Outside him goes Forsyth. Forsyth's low cross. Davis! No, Pearson. It is in fact Pearson who makes it 3-3. Lovely cross by Forsyth. And all Pearson had to do, and he did it so well, was stab his foot at it, and it shot bring it and so Manchester United have pulled back again but all was danger at the free kick somehow this afternoon they've created danger every time one has been awarded there's been panic stations in defence and near misses and three goals chipped up suddenly a goal it's in 4-3 suddenly Stepney being criticised by his defence because Stepney got his hand to the ball and punched it in fair inside the post but a yet another lethal free kick the ball chipped over David Sutley's header and despite Alex Stepney's hands getting there it went inside taking a leap out of Potts book Pearson So Manchester United again just refusing to give up and everybody's gone up except Greenhoff and Stepney look like handball in the area but it's not cleared yet it's Remarkable game. Yeah, a match that people would talk about for many a long day. Of course, the sad blow for Manchester United is that their centre half, Jim Holton, broke his leg during the course of that game, and it looks as though Jim is going to be out for the rest of the season. I wonder how United will fare without him.